Hi guys, so I have a viewer question. The question says, Hey Chelsea, I'm deciding if I want to add a certificate to my bachelor's degree. As I'm approaching graduation, I'm starting to face the reality of needing to have more job options that come from my college education. I noticed that the TESOL, Teaching English as a Second Language Certificate, requires only six classes and I've already taken one of them. With your experience, do you think that being able to teach English is a useful skill? Mm -hmm. I would really love and appreciate your advice. Okay, I think it's definitely great that you're deciding to get a TESOL. It will only increase uh, or add to your bachelor's degree and increase your marketability. The TESOL, especially depending on what you want to do with it, can mean a higher pay grade or it can mean uh, a chance to gain employment faster. So if you have the opportunity to get one, it will never hurt in the future. To answer your question, do I think English is a useful skill? Yeah, I think English is definitely a useful skill, but it depends on what you want to do. Now, say, for example, you want to work with refugees or immigrants in the United States who, you know, want to learn English uh, as a, a second language, second or third language, then a teaching useful will be helpful because you can teach them English to help them get acclimated uh, more to their surroundings. And so that can be one route. Another route is travel. There are a lot of places in this world that are looking for native speakers uh, like yourself who can teach English. And so you will be like a gold mine for these people because they're like, oh, hey, 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 come to us, come to our school because we want you because you speak the language, of course. Um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, the places that, you know, pay the most in terms of teaching English are the Middle Eastern countries, followed by, I think, South Korea and Japan, and then, you know, uh, European countries and China, and then I would say maybe Southeast Asia and Latin America as like last ones. But yeah, um, if you're looking to teach English abroad, for example, you can, the fact that you're a native English speaker is like gold. And then a lot of places, it depends on where you go again, um, will ask if they can see a college degree, a bachelor's degree, or some sort of college education. Um, that will help you get employed a lot faster and make job hunting a lot easier depending on what part of the world you go to. And then three, your TESOL certificate is like the icing on top of the cake. So yeah, I hope I helped you. I hope I answered your question. If you have any more questions, please contact me at rickynotes at gmail.com. Like me on Facebook, ask the question there, facebook.com backslash rookienotes or Twitter. And yeah, I hope to see you next time, guys. Bye, rookies. Hey guys, if you're interested in learning Chinese or Japanese writing, be sure to check out my previous Squitter video review. And if you're visiting the Baltimore area, visit Lexington Market. I had a chance to visit and I had a ton of fun. Alright, check these videos out. Bye y'all.